Hello, today we're going to be replacing the upper control arm on a 2005 Dodge Magnum RT wagon. Um, I know a lot of people have asked about this and I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. I mean I've replaced these a few times so I'm very used to it. And here we go. Okay, so here we are now. Uh, we're going to carry on with the uh, 2005 Dodge Magnum. We're going to replace the upper control arm. I'm going to show you exactly what is wrong with this one before we replace it. So you can actually get a glimpse of what is going on here. So we have a lot of clunk in there. We know that that ball joint is completely worn and we are going to replace that. So the first step that we have to do is make sure that the car is secured and you have blocks behind the tires of course so it doesn't roll away on you now on this particular car we have coilovers and we have a lowering kit um, so it's a little bit easier uh, to replace these upper control arms but I'm going to show you how to do it the right way uh, if you do have the original coils in the car because it is very hard to get um, the upper control arm out uh, and get at the bolts because they are literally right behind the coils. So give me a minute here and we'll go through this. Okay, so now we're at the next stage here. Um, as you can see, I do have coilovers on. So you'll see actually where the bolts are there. It is a little easier for me to get, like I can get at these bolts. But what you want to do is you definitely want to drop uh, your, your um, suspension. This would have to be dropped down. And in order to do that, there's three bolts on top, 13 mil, which you can see right here. You would take them out and make sure you have it supported underneath. We're gonna do that anyway because we're gonna end up dropping this arm right here. Okay, now there's a couple ways you can do that. You can use a tuning fork uh, in here. I'm gonna show you a little bit of an easier method that I um, found out. And <laughs> actually right in the side, you wrap this with a hammer and it will drop. And I'll show you that as I do it and go through it. All right, so let's continue. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do right now We'll go in a little closer here. We want to, the uh, control arm here, we want to remove this control arm from the actual strut itself. Now this here is a 21 inch um, wrench you put over with a 13 mil socket. So it doesn't spin, okay? Okay, so now we have the bolt out there or the nut I should say. Now there is a lot of tension on this. Um, the best thing to do at this point, and we're gonna have to do it anyway, is we have our hydraulic floor jack. And I've actually supported it underneath um, the actual coil. Uh, this way we're gonna jack the coil up so this actually takes the tension off that, the tensioner arm, so that we can remove that arm right here okay so now we're going to jack it up and as you jack it you will see the tension come off that arm enough you can pull it right out now the arm is completely out okay now the next step would be to undo 13 mil bolts underneath here Okay, so now that we have that uh, 13 mil bolts out, what we want to do now is we want to physically uh, lower the suspension very, very slowly. And now our suspension is out. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to remove this. Okay. Now make sure that you still have the 
jack underneath to support this because this will come flying out but I'll show you an easier way to do this as well okay so we have an 18 mil bolt right here now the thing is here you don't want to completely take this bolt right off okay you just want to loosen that enough Just about finger tight, back up in about halfway in the threads. Take a mallet on this and just give it a couple wraps. More than a couple wraps, but it worked. As you can see, it's separated. So now, we have to put our suspension back up to take the weight load off of this now. Now what we want to do is we want to still leave this in uh, finger tight, like, ha like I said, halfway in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen off uh, the inner. And now we can get back in behind there, which is a lot easier with a, a ratchet. So now we're back here. We've uh, removed the bolts underneath here, uh, holding the upper control arm in place. It's an 18 mil. Um, I had to use a, a wrench, unfortunately, because it's very hard to get in there. Uh, you'd have to move this forward in order to get a bolt down in there. And then there's one in the back here. And then for here, it's just taking the parts out. There's one bolt here. And there's another one here. You can actually push it through from the top end. And then pull that out. All the while, like I said, you're supporting everything on the bottom end. Because uh, you don't want everything to come forward. So now we have this loose. Remember we had this finger tight here. And there we go. There's your control arm. So there's our old one right there. Like I shouldn't be able to move that. Clunk that around like that. And then our new one, everything is, I've actually put the uh, bolts back in, but I haven't tightened up the nuts on them yet. They're just sitting in there right now. So we'll go underneath the hood portion and put our 18 millimeter bolts back on. Uh, put them as much as you can on by finger, and the rest of course would have to be a wrench. It is quite hard, but again, uh, assembly is the same. Uh, it's just reverse of taking it apart. Uh, the only thing you're not doing now is uh, whacking it here to uh, drop the arm. And that's about it. Uh, I'll put this upper control arm, bolt that all in, and I'll show you when we put it back on our arm here. Alright? Okay, so now we're back and uh, we are assembling. Now, I've ended up putting the bolts back in the top portion uh, just to save a bit of time on that one. But our new upper control arm is in. Now we're back to here okay now the easiest I found is just grab you know your jack arm lift it position it and drop it right in that's a lot hell of a lot easier position it in there our new locking nut okay. again 18 mil of course they changed it on it <laughs> was 18 mil now it's not 18 mil no more Here. Let me guess, they bumped it up to 19. Yeah, they bumped it up to 19. So now it's a 19 mil, but originally the factory ones they are an 18. 
but now that they've given us a 19. Let's fit in there. Now before we go any farther with this, we're gonna put our coils back in. Now remember we took off that uh, bottom bar here. So we're gonna put that back in. So first, reposition the coil, line it up, there we go. At this point in time, we will put our 13s back on. or drop them inside the car, whatever you prefer. Okay, we have our new arm in, upper control arm, and we're ready to go. All is good.